I should at least start heading out of this valley to go get help. With the phones down and no transportation, whatever this is, it's coming from town. Lauren, we can't just react like... If we don't understand what's happening, you might be jumping out of the pot and into the fire, you know? All right. All right. We left for town to tell the cops about the bodies. We started driving and that's when we stalled out. Where exactly? Uh, that steep hill about a quarter mile away from the lake pull off. You stalled at the bottom or near the top? Alan! Lauren, please. We were just about at the bottom. I, I know you want to figure this out, but I have to get going if we're going to be Lauren, able Lauren, to... I think I know what's going on. And if I'm right, it's not just the town we need to worry about. It's the whole valley. So then this is just a huge pool of CO2? <sighs> yes. From where? It's the CO2 the coal fire plant's been burying underground. The earthquake must have released it somehow. I don't know how exactly, or hell, it could have even ruptured the above ground liquefied CO2 tanks, you know, the ones you guys stored in before you pump it underground. See, pure CO2 is denser, it's heavier than the surrounding air. So what's happening is it's just displacing all the air in the valley, filling it from the bottom up. Okay, it's CO2 escaping, it's filling the valley. Yes. How does this make our situation suck any less? Paige, we stopped coming down the hill. At the top of the hill, the engine was still running. That means it was burning both gas and oxygen, okay? An hour ago, there was combustible, breathable air at the top. That's not that far. All right, so the scuba tanks you used to get up here, how many hours would you estimate are left in them? All of them? Enough for one person to get out of the valley. I'm sorry, I thought that you would be safe here until I could come back with help. Well, what if we divided that by the three of us? With a little luck, that should be just about enough to get us back to the dive shop and pick up more tanks. Then we should be able to get up to the ranger station. And with a little bit of luck, there should be some air up there and we can contact help from one of the ranger towers. That's a great idea, except for one small problem. No, that's too far. Hey, Paige, that is our only chance. Nobody's gonna come to save us. If we're gonna get out of here, we need to do this. Okay, here's the situation. CO2 is filling this valley, and every breathing creature in it is going to be dead by nightfall. We need to get out of here, and to do that, we need more oxygen. So, before we have a chance of getting out of the valley, we have to go back to the dive shop and get whatever filled tanks are left there. But, Lauren's indicated that there may only be a few we can use. So you should know, even with the tanks, this is going to be very risky. Wait, I know where there's more of these. My wife, she's a hospice nurse. The lady she cares for, she's on oxygen. Yeah, but how much? We're gonna need a lot if we're all gonna get out of here. Well, she's up in the hills. Really rough road over there. They don't even plow in the winter. She'll have plenty stocked up. I'm sure of it. Sounds like we have our second destination. Okay, Noah, gather up all the tanks we have. How heavy are these? Jesus. We're gonna need to conserve energy, so no heavy backpacks. But everyone grab water inside. I don't want anyone getting dehydrated. We're leaving in five minutes. Alan. What about Ethan? They were headed down to the plant. Ethan's smart. We have to hope he's figured this out on his own. And we're headed in his direction anyhow, so if he's okay, we'll... Well, we can only hope. Don't run, but not a walk either. All right, exhale. Deep breath in.
Mind if I join you? Mr. Edwards, sure. Thank you. Can we you? Um, no, no, thank you. I never liked the food here. Sir? Well, you look very nice today. Thank you. Is there something I can do for you? Well, Paige, you know we're under a lot of pressure to start pumping over at Site B. Of course. And I'm afraid that the science team is taking their own sweet time about this study. So while I hate to put you in this position, because I know this is really Chris's job. What? Well, I'm going to have to ask you to see what you can do to move this study forward. But I don't. You asked me to just keep you informed of their work, Mr. Edwards. Chris is supposed to. I don't see how I could help speed things up. Well, Chris mentioned that you and I believe his name is Ethan. Well, he mentioned that you might be able to exert a certain influence there. With all due respect, sir, I don't think that's any of your or Chris's business. Miss Weiss, everything that goes on in this company is my business. Now, when I hired you, you assured me that you could do what was required. Yes, but Mr. Was Edwards. all that just talk to impress me? Now, you listen very carefully to me, Ms. Weiss. We need to start sequestering at Site B immediately. There's an enormous amount of pressure on that. We're almost maxed out at Site A, which you know. And if we max out there, then we can't sequester. And if we can't sequester, we're going to have to pay through the nose for carbon credits. Either that or stop burning coal entirely until this, this overdue study is done. Many people are going to lose their jobs. Do you understand me? Sir, I... I, I don't want you to, to get the wrong impression here. It's just that you've been working very closely with these people. You know them very well. You've been working here for six months with them. All I want you to do is see how things stand. Maybe there's something you can do to, I don't know, help them out. Maybe you can find out when approval is coming. Maybe help them along. We could even get a preliminary report and, you know, dot the I's and cross the T's later. You understand what I'm saying? Can you do that? Yeah. I suppose I could. Good, that's the girl I hired. You're gonna go far in this company, Paige. Make this happen. We should keep moving. Where are we headed? 